I posted a stat up, he said I ignored you Maybe I did, but I just got some important shit I gotta take care of Gotta take care of And maybe you're right, maybe I'm not ready Maybe I'm not ready for this type of commitment That you're looking for, girl That you're looking for, girl And maybe in time, girl, I'll be able to Oh, hey there guys, what's up? It's your boy Johnny Technology uh, Today, I'm gonna be doing a quick unboxing of the Babyliss Pro Gold FX Skeleton Trimmers. Um, I just picked these up over the weekend at Barbican NYC. I believe these things aren't set to officially launch until sometime in August, but I got myself a pair and I'm super excited about that. So, here they are. Bam, they come in the dope casing. Got the little Ferrari logo there. These uh, this product is officially licensed by Ferrari. It says it right there on the bottom. Um, I'm going to get into some of the specs on these, and I'm going to pop them open and let you guys see what's inside the box. So right on the back, you can see here's a list of all the specs. Uh, I'm going to read them off to you real quick. So these trimmers have a DLC titanium adjustable zero gap T-blade. Uh, the zero gap tool is included in the box. You have the 360 exposed blade. Uh, high torque brushes, high torque brushless Ferrari designed engine, all metal housing, uh, knurled barbell grip. It has a lithium ion battery that has a two hour runtime. That's uh, that's pretty long time for a cordless trimmer. That's dope. Um, you can use it cordless uh, or corded, and you have your little hanging hook on the bottom. That's what it says. That's all the details on the back of the box. Uh, so let's go ahead and pop it open. I'm gonna let you guys see what it looks like. I'm super excited to check these trimmers out. Um, I think Babyliss is doing crazy things. And uh, they definitely made this trimmer with barbers in mind. Check it out. Some of that thing is in beautiful. All right. It has the exposed blade. For a long time, barbers, they were modifying their trimmers themselves to get the blade exposed like this so you could get into the hard to reach areas when you're doing lineups, you're trying to get around the ear and whatnot. So I think it's super dope that Babyliss made a trimmer with the barbers in mind and have the blade already exposed like this. It's nice, it's small, it's compact. Um, seems like a good mix between like your Andish, um, like T outliner and your slim lines. That they're currently my favorite trimmers I have are my slim lines because they're nice, small, they're very ergonomical. You can get into those hard to reach places and they're real light and, and they're nice. And these seem like they're gonna be uh, real comfortable to use as well. Okay, so let's see what else we have here. By the way, guys, I think Babyliss Pro is doing some crazy things in the barber game right now. I've been to the BarberCon NYC and the CT Barber Expo within like this past month, and both of the shows were dope. And Babyliss platform artists, they were just straight up killing it. Um, I think they have like probably some of the dopest artists, and I believe they're making these trimmers and their, their new clippers and products with the barbers in mind and they're getting input and feedback from the barbers okay so here you have your standard your charger and over here we have uh looks like a little brush some uh some clipper oil and your zero grab uh your zero gapping tool for the trimmer so that's the contents of the bag here you also get your little like manual or whatnot i don't know what this is it looks like a sticker that is a sticker that's pretty dope. I'm probably gonna put that somewhere on my stand because that's fire. Um, and another sticker, Barbarology. So, if you guys didn't see, you can zero grab your tool by just adjusting these two small screws right here and sliding the blade up or down. So that's gonna be super convenient. But yeah, guys, that is the trimmer. Um, I hope you guys enjoyed the video. I hope this guys uh, this gave you guys more insight on what's inside the box. I'm ready to head into work right now, and uh, I'm gonna charge these bad boys up, and I'm gonna put them to use. Um, I will probably do a more in-depth review on how I uh, think the trimmers work a little bit down the line after I've used them quite a bit. But I appreciate you guys watching, 
and uh, yeah, check you out.